Hi gang, Jimmy D here, back with Free Game Pass Hunters, and in today's video, we are going to grab our rewards points by earning an achievement in a Game Pass game called A Little To The Left, where we are working towards 100% completion so that we can get that 1,000 gamer score or that platinum trophy or whatever you guys get in Switch. If you guys are just starting to follow along, I do offer a chapter select in the descriptions below, as well as a link to my playlist at the end of this video. And with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start up our game. Puzzles are easy, guys. A little lengthy, but easy. Let's go ahead and choose our levels as we ended up in level five the other day. Now, for starters, guys, we are going to leave this painting on the top right with the ball alone for now. Let's go ahead and go to the center and just square them up so that they're nice and even. And then we're going to take this guy here and we're going to tilt him all the way to the left. This guy here, we don't want him all the way to down, but we want them up a little bit, just a little bit. Should be good there. These two paintings on the bottom right, guys, let's tilt them both to the left. And now, let's go ahead and take our ball and tilt that this way. And take this painting here next to the donut and tilt it the, the totally opposite way and do the same with the donut against the coffee cup let it flow boom 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 and done Remember guys, this does cannot be tilted all the way down, otherwise it will not work. Just saying, from experience sake. Well, let's go ahead and head to the next puzzle. Next puzzle guys, if you've been following the daily tidies, grab a hold of the minute hand. And we need to make the shadow of the leaf line up with the hour hand. And in this case, I believe it is about five after three. Boom, four after three. Next puzzle, guys. We need to line up our chess pieces from tallest to smallest. So let's take our king and put them all the way to the left. And then our queen. Bishop, rook, and then pawn. And then take the shadows and line them up with the pieces. So rook to rook. And queen to queen. And boof. Next puzzle guys. If you guys have been following along in the Daily Tidies, you guys gotta take these bright stars and make the constellation complete. So let's find a place to put this guy here. 
And if you notice, guys, gray lines will start to appear when you get that star in just the right spot. And bing. Take another one. And just keep aligning. We got three puzzles to do here, guys. There we go. Puzzle number one. Puzzle number two. And that's all three guys. Next one guys, we need to refer to the laptop for all our pieces. So let's start off with the apple. Apple leaf needs to be pointing to the left. Take a look here, guys. Globe needs to be green and yellow, like so. Let's see, memos need to be green first, then red, orange, and then yellow. Keys, guys, let's see, keys. Gold first. Oh, Kenny! Gave us a whole bunch of error messages. Just click on them. All right. Silver key on the right of the gold key. Looking at the icon here. 
All right, paint. Let's see, red first. Then bluish purple. And then brown. And lastly, guys, the clock needs to be, looks like five after 10, 10 after five. Five after ten. Make it so it's equal. Five after ten. And now <laughs> we need to make all the icons on the same place as in the real world. So let's take our memo and put them up here. Painting. Put it down at the bottom left. Globe down here, clock in the center, your actual PC right here, keys up top left. Let's move these down a little bit. Oh, no, that's not what we're doing. Okay, Apple bottom right, keys top left. Hourglass. Oh, no, no. To the bottom right, uh, next to the PC. And then let's take our real life and flip them over. Nope, I ain't got something quite right. So, ah, move these guys down a little bit. And then take our hourglass and flip them over. There we go. And that's it for that puzzle, guys. This one, guys, a little tricky. Doesn't matter which match you grab the box you put it in does. So let's start it off with bottom matches. And the first thing we're gonna do is put them in this diamond, purple diamond box. And then the second one, we are gonna put it in this tentacle octopus box, Kraken box. Then the third match we're going to grab, we're going to put it in the far left, this diagonal orange salmon stripe. Okay. Next match we're going to grab, guys, we're going to put it in the far right in the yellow box with the moth. match guys we're gonna grab and we're gonna put it in this red box that looks like a kind of mirror then we're gonna grab the yellow match out of the far right one with the moth on it and put it in the octopus box tentacle box we're gonna take the diamond match and we're going to put it in the center then we're going to take the green the one with the bird and put that in the center we're going to take the one with the tentacles or the octopus and also put that in the center then we're going to take the red and put that in the center match the one on the far left and put that in the center we're gonna take the last match and we're gonna put on the far left and then take it out of the far right and put that in the center it's gonna turn white Let's grab the match out of the box so it'll strike. 
and boof that one is done guys now this one is weird guys every time we pick up the match it's gonna change color it's gonna make the candles grow if it's white and if it's good it's gonna make the candles shrink if it's black so let's make the candles grow and shrink grab the black match and place it here to make the candle shrink and poof yeah let's make it grow and stop growing As we need to make them even all the way across guys and that's not as easy as it looks uh. white match here and drop it definitely need the black match here white match a little more here and shrink Drop them just to change color and grow. All the candles need to be the same height here, guys. Eh, maybe a little bit more here. Shrink a little here. No, nope, too much. Touch more, drop it. Ah, we'll see how fussy it is in a second, guys. Like I said, all the candles need to be the same height here. There we go gave it to us next one guys from left to right staggered from tallest to shortest oh I screwed up guys let's go ahead and pause our game exit as there was two solutions to that last one. Go to levels. And go back to the candles. My bad, guys. And again. Tallest to shortest. So. We want a white candle here. him grow to the fullest extent and then we're going to take our black candle and let him shrink all the way up. 
Now we have a reference point. So, this one here, pick it up. Let them shrink. Oh, oh. We need a black candle for him. about here black candle again guys slightly taller let him grow Last one, guys, a little bit taller. Ah, Picky, huh? Picky guys, fussy fussy, but that's what we need right there. All right, now that we got that, guys, let's go ahead and head to the next puzzle. Let's see, what do we got here? All right, it's the mirror. We need to move the mirror. Oh, no, not the picture, the mirror. Jimbo. get the picture and they're gonna be slightly askew guys since it's a reflection then move uh, the lemon and the lemon slice and then move the mirror again and put the whole lemon Actually, we need to move the lemon tray. And then the candle. Then the whole lemon on top of the tray. Let's move the mirror again, guys. So that we get the vase and the leaf then move it one more time guys 
so we get the boxes. Let's move the real life box, if you will, all the way to the left. Undo the hook on the reflection. So it opens both boxes and put this little skull inside the real life box. And then let's line everything up on the bottom. Nice and neat. Remember guys, it's gotta be a little off because of the reflection. And lastly, the box. And I'm missing something here, guys. What am I missing? Forget the base. Candle. Ah! Forgot to put the candle out. And I didn't quite get the sprig right here. There we go. Next puzzle, guys. Ah, we need to take a tilt at the lamp because there's something hidden here to the left. All sorts of electrical equipment. Everything is off at the moment, guys. And we need to turn on everything so that when we take away the light, it looks like a heart. So, well, let's go ahead and click the phone and then go directly below. And it should be this guy here. Next one to the right, guys, should be here. I believe, yeah. And then this guy here. next one guys is timed 
I'm going to warn you, you need to put your hand right about here as we need to pet Kitty in time with the rings. The rings are going to come up, pet Kitty in time with the pattern, and we need to do this quickly. So let's go to the next level. Put our hand in between Kitty's eyes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and boom. Harmonized her. The perfect rhythm. As Kitty does his Kitty Karma Sutra. And at this point, guys, we can go ahead and pause our game. And exit to the main menu. Quit our game. Turn in our rewards for the day. <laughs> well, should have had rewards. Don't know what Xbox is doing here. Seemingly, we got Game Pass console, ba ba ba. But no, <laughs> five points and eight points. Great Xbox, wonderful. Let's head home. And for continue rewards, continued achievements and trophies, and continue videos, guys. You know what buttons to press. But as always, have a great day. See ya.